Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Biodiversity and Conservation. I am Subhalakshmi Rao from Amiga Prashad Research Foundation, India. And we are continuing our UGC net examination series for environmental science subject. And this is 40th part of unit three environmental biology. And uh, today we are going to study about elephant reserves. As we have a unit and a small section there about biodiversity and its conservation. And biodiversity includes any type of living organisms in our surrounding. So elephants are also uh, a major fauna that uh, is a environmental engineer of our ecosystem or forest ecosystem mainly because they are uh, responsible or they have the ability to create, modify or destroy an ecosystem. So, and why, how they will um, create or modify or destroy an habitat. So when elephant moves um, inside the forest, because it's a very big or very large animal, when it moves, it creates depression on the land. And during rainy, rainy season, the depressions get filled with the uh, rainwater. And we know bacteria can grow anywhere if you provide them their optimum requirements. Like uh, if uh, they have um, good quantity of water, good quantity of uh, temperature and all that. So they can uh, grow. So the depressions of pits where water is uh, present, it gives the bacteria an environment for their growth. Along with bacteria, we can see some algal growth, which is the first step uh, in um, the formation of a community or a ecosystem, like first algae will form, then it will uh, provide uh, nutrition to the soil and also minerals so that uh, other plants like bryophytes, steratophytes, gymnosperms, angiosperms can grow. So there we uh, got one. There are so many benefits or uh, ways for creation uh, or helping the environment by elephants. So this is one example. And modify it when it the elephant moves in the forest, it uh, um, breaks some branches or some, it eradicates some plants and uh, takes it along with them to some other part of the forest where um, from that part another plant grows and we can see the migration of a plant from one place to another as well as seed dispersal uh, is carried out by elephants like when they move through the forest, uh, whatever they have eaten in one part of the forest, when they travel to a long distance or, or to another area, uh, they will excrete out their dung there from where uh, the, mm, the seeds will germinate and grow into plant, new plants, which uh, in normal condition will we will not find that plant in that area, but because of this migration and all this uh, activities by elephants, we will see that there are some growth of um, not that particular plant in, in another new habitat it will grow. So there we got one example of how elephants modify the ecosystem and how it will destroy. So it's a very important portion because if if elephant will not be present in the forest, we will not get all these benefits. We will not see formation of a new forest and forests are degrading at a very fast pace. And one day will come that uh, we will have no forest and because we have hampered the elephants. So let's start that why elephant reserves are necessary what are these and how they help or 
what not. So let's know about first elephant. Elephant is the largest terrestrial mammal of India. Um, elephants being wide ranging animal requires large area. So the requirement of food and water um, for them is very high. So their population can be supported only by forests that are under optimal conditions. And the status of elephants can be the best indicator of the status of the forest. That's what I was trying to say uh, in the introduction of this presentation. And the elephant reserves in um, India, we are going to discuss about that. So let's start. Like the Asian elephants are believed to be widely distributed from West Asia eastward through Persia into Indian subcontinent, South and Southeast Asia, including Sri Lanka, Java, Sumatra, Borneo, and up to North China. So these are the distribution of Asian elephants. But now, majority of the Asian um, elephant population are found in Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, and some Asian islands like Sri Lanka, Indonesia, and Malaysia. And about 60% of the Asian elephant population is in India. But all this is good and all, but they are under endangered category. So their population is decreasing day by day, not increasing. So we have to take some measures to conserve their population to help them survive in our environment. So there is a term called human elephant conflict. This is the main reason for their deaths as well as human deaths. So we have to decrease that human elephant conflict so that we can help elephants to survive longer and the their population we can increase so elephant reserves are one such um what we can say initiative taken by the government to to identify the uh, area where uh, elephant population is uh, good or healthy and then uh, plantation or any other activities uh, uh, by protecting that area so that we can uh, make the elephants stay in that area by providing them with everything that they need to survive so it's a place where um, elephants can survive easily like the ministry of environment forest and climate change in coordination with the state forest departments has uh, validated actually 150 elephant corridors. Elephant corridors are the passages through which elephant pass or travel during their migration across 15 elephant range states in the country and informed the state government union territory administrations to take necessary steps to protect and conserve the elephant corridors. It's also a one way to conserve their population and the critical elephant habitats are notified as elephant reserve for focus and synergy in elephant conservation and to reduce the conflicts and the notification is carried out with the approval of the steering committee chaired by the honorable minister environment forest and climate change and so far they have um, established about uh, 33 elephant reserves in 14 major elephant states and 33rd is uh, Terai elephant reserve in uh, Uttar Pradesh it's the newest elephant reserve and uh, these are in the picture you can see all the elephant reserves in India and major majorly if you see the elephant reserves in Odisha it's three Mayurbhanj Elephant Reserve, Sambalpur Elephant Reserve, and Mahanadi Elephant Reserve. So, and these uh, elephant reserves uh, also overlap with uh, tiger reserves or wildlife sanctuaries and reserve forests, which are protected under the Wildlife Protection Act 1972, Indian Forest Act 1927, and other local state acts. So, 
where we can find elephant reserves, it's not necessary that only elephants will be present there. Sometimes, uh, like in Satkosia, previously Satko Mahanadi Elephant Reserve was called Satkosia Gorge uh, something elephant reserve. And uh, um, that's also a Satkosia Tiger Reserve. And so these all overlap. So it's not necessary that if it's declared elephant reserve means only elephants will be present. There will be other creatures like tiger or any other wildlife. So it's a fact information for you. Now these are all the elephant reserves. Um, 16 elephant reserves. So uh, it, this is the data of 2005. And, uh, and this is the elephant ranges from eastern central landscape. It includes uh, uh, southwest Bengal, Jharkhand, Orissa, and uh, in the coming Sonitpur landscape, it includes Arunachal and Assam. So these are all the elephant reserves uh, according to the data of 2005. Now we are going to know about the elephant reserves in Odisha. So Odisha has identified actually five elephant reserves out of which only three were notified uh, like Mahanadi Reserve, Mayurbhanj Reserve and Sambalpur Reserve. And the other two are proposed but not yet notified as elephant reserves. Those are the South Odisha Reserve and the Vaitradi Reserve. Now, one by one, we will know about something, a little bit about uh, all the elephant reserves in Odisha. Uh, basically, three. Mayurbhanj Elephant Reserve is one. So, it is the formal name of Simlipal, Kuldiha, Hadgar Elephant Reserve. It's a big name. It includes all the three areas. So, it is located in the Kyonjur district of Odisha. And... Uh, Odisha is one of the states in Eastern India where one can find elephants in large numbers. And uh, Madhvanj Elephant Reserve in Odisha comprises of a total area of 7,043 square kilometer. And it, uh, and ca uh, it has uh, um, three protected areas like Simlipal Tiger Reserve, Hadgar Wildlife Sanctuary, and Kuldiha Wildlife Sanctuary. So, as I said before, that elephant uh, reserves coincide with other uh, tiger reserves or any other wildlife sanctuaries. So these are this is the example. The main feature of um, Mayurbhanj Elephant Reserve is the Hardgur Sanctuary and the reservoir of Hardgur, uh, which uh, is adjoining with Balua, Baula Hills, and uh, the reservoir of Hardgur is built on the Salandi River and takes its origin in the southern Simlipal Tiger Reserve. And uh, it is included with uh, Simlipal National Park, which is located in the Mayurbhanj district of Odisha. And uh, Simlipal National Park uh, has an area of um, 485.7 square kilometers and has some beautiful waterfalls like Zoranda waterfalls and Bari Pani waterfalls, and it is the home of rural Bengal tigers, wild elephants, gores, um, Tausinga, as well as it has an orchidarium. So there is so much to see inside the Sumli Park. Now, Marbanj uh, Elephant Reserve also, also includes uh, some reserve forests, protected forests, and private lands and revenue lands. And uh, the revenue lands are known as agricultural lands. And uh, the landscape beauty of Marbanj uh, Elephant Reserve is often attracted to the tourists. So, so next one is Mahanadi Elephant Reserve. Uh, the Mahanadi Elephant Reserve is situated on the banks of River Mahanadi in central Odisha. And this reserve is home to one of the oldest wildlife sanctuaries in the state. And the forests of this area are mainly tropical moist and dry deciduous type, which are considered to be one of the favored habitats of elephants. 
and uh, originally the reserve was called Sakosia Gorge, Bicipali Elephant Reserve, but uh, later in 2002, with an extension of the area, it was renamed Mahanati Elephant Reserve, and uh, it is spread over the civil districts of uh, Baud, Nayagarh, Katag, Tenkanal, and Anurgul. And um, this has traditionally been an elephant habitat and is the only link for elephants of uh, South Orissa. Now, next one is uh, Sambalpur Elephant Reserve. Sambalpur Elephant Reserve is in western part of the state and situated on the left bank of the river Mahanadi. Initially known as Bhadrama Kalashuni Elephant Reserve, its name was later changed to Sambalpur Elephant uh, Reserve with an extension of the area from 427 square kilometer to 8386 square kilometer. The habitat here is mostly contiguous with uh, relatively good regeneration and the forest type is dominated by dry deciduous with sal and bamboo and uh, the Sambalpur Elephant Reserve is situated um, in the districts of uh, Sundargarh. It covers actually these districts like Sundargarh, Jharsugada, Sambalpur and Diogarh. And the major towns located within SPR are uh, Sambalpur, Dharsugada, Raidakol, Bamra, and Boni. And Sambalpur Elephant Reserve has a population of about 450 elephants and approximately 3,000 square kilometers of legally protected forest area available to the elephants. And this data is of uh, 2005 census. Uh, sorry, 2002 census. Incidents of crop damage by elephants are high in this reserve due to double cropping and other reasons associated with Sambalpur ER 53 regular population monitoring and uh, developing effective conflict mitigation measures for the worst affected villages of the reserve could be the management targets of, for the reserve for the next 10 years. And the forest department actually identified six corridors in the elephant reserve area like Bhadrama, Benjipali, uh, Mindavahal, Kolabira. It's one corridor. Next is uh, Bhadrama, Prohaswini, Khajuria, Bedjarar, Bandhavar, Bamra. And next one is uh, Bhadrama, Meghapal. Jujumara, Dhamma, Kalasuni, uh, Nakti Diol, Kansar is another one. Um, Bandabar, Mahuldia, Manjur Dima is another. And the last one is Khajuria, Manjur Dima, and uh, Kunjar. So these are some corridors of uh, elephant. So. This is all from me today. Thank you.